fascinating topic we're talking about here. You want to generate data with which to plan uh, um, uh, how to govern Quezon City if you do get the seat. But, but give us the details. Uh, it's, not, not, it's not very often that we get a candidate who says that uh, we will devote uh, our resources to generate data with which to make plans. Uh, how do you intend to go about this and what do you intend to do with the data? Well, um, well, there's many ways of acquiring data. You can, you can actually just get a third, third party uh, a service provider mm. to do that for you. Mm. No? Uh, in the same way you do that for your surveys or whatever. So, so um, generating data is not the, the issue. The issue is what to do with the data. Mm. And you have to maximize the use of this data. And that's where you bring in, I, I intend to bring in people from the, the public sector no? mm. uh, to come in and help me do analytics, to analyze the data and to come up with programs. No? I think one problem in Quezon City is that we depend so much on our bureaucracy, forgetting that there's so much new ways of doing things, so mm. much new ideas coming from the outside. And the great thing about uh, me was when, not, not about me, but I mean, about my situation, was when I announced that I was going to run um, and people were familiar with my kind of leadership, mm -hmm. um, a lot of people from the private sector volunteered. Mm -hmm. So I actually have a pool of about 50 volunteers. Um, some of them, like Father Nebres, used to be president of Ateneo, mm -hmm. um, some of them are of that caliber, just wanting to help just wanting to provide input so that I can come up with a comprehensive platform that really addresses all the needs that our city um, has, that ne needs to be addressed. No? Yeah.